I'm changing things up a bit and I want to have a little chat with you. Um, I'm sitting in front of a window right now, so if my glasses start to get a little darker, that's just a heads up. Also, do you guys see this lovely <laughs> curtains? They're, they are curtains. I don't know why I did air quotes, but they're curtains that I put over top of the doors. I did that because being out here in my she shed at night without having coverings over those doors, it's creepy. There's nobody behind us, um, you know, except for the monsters that come out at night that try to get you. So I took some command hooks and I hung up curtains right there. It's a temporary solution, but it works. Um, but you read the title. I'm done with planning. Done with it. And I just want to have a conversation with you about it. I want to tell you why. I want to tell you what's going on. I want to tell you what's changing, what's coming up. For the last, I don't know, year, I've had this like inner kind of battle with myself. And some of you may relate to this. You may understand exactly what I'm talking about because you're going through it too. So I feel you. But every single week, I, you know, let's say it was Sunday or Monday, I would think, man, I need to make a, a plan for the week. I need to get my planner out. And I would. I would get my, my happy planner out and I would get all my stickers out. And I would make these cute spreads and I would have these plans for the week. And then that was it. I didn't come back to my planner. And then I would have these feelings of like guilt. And Ashley, you just spent all this time making these spreads and making these elaborate plans for the week and you didn't even look at it. Like, why aren't you looking at it? Can't you at least look at your planner? Take your planner with you and um, you know how to plan. You know what to do. You do. You've done this for a long time. Why aren't you doing this? And then I would be like, well, let's try again this week. Let's create it. I mean, just over week after week after week. So finally, I did a little bit of soul searching, if you will, a little bit of um, digging and... I decided that I don't want to decorative plan anymore. For the last few months, actually, I've been using these good old Amazon Basic notebooks, bud. Right here, these little notepads. Amazon Basics, just a, just a notepad. And I get up and I, I write my to-do list down and as I'm getting things done, I'm marking them off and I've consistently stuck with this and this actually feels, felt really good. And so I got to thinking, if this works, why isn't my happy planner working? My happy planner is not working because it's it's too much. I don't I don't want to keep up with that anymore. I don't want a decorative plan and I don't want to spend all this time making these planner spreads that I'm not sticking to. I just want to plan and I want it to be minimal and I want it to be simple. So that's kind of where I'm at with planning. I got a new planner. I'm completely getting rid of my happy planner. Don't don't look into that any more than than what it sounds like. I just, I'm done with the happy planner because I have so many memories tied up with it that whenever I open up my happy planner, even just to plan in it with just a pen, no stickers, I still feel like I'm doing it wrong. But when I get inside of this planner, that's a whole new planner, a whole new brand. Um, I feel like I can just use my pen in, in the planner itself. So that's why I'm, I'm done with the happy planner. I'm kind of getting rid of it, not getting rid of it. I'm still got all my planners. I still got all my stickers. Who knows? You know, in a year or two, I might be like, I'm ready to decorate my planner again. Then again, I may never. I may end up just donating all of my stickers and stuff. So got a new planner, had to sell feet pictures to get this. <laughs> didn't see that coming, did you? <laughs> I'm teasing. I didn't sell feet pictures, although I do have cute feet, so I think they would sell. But this thing was a little expensive. The planner itself, like the pages inside of here, that's not what was expensive. It was just this cover that was kind of pricey. But man, I fell in love with it. Do you guys see the texture? Do you hear that? My microphone's back here. Do you hear it? So I fell in love with this cover and that's why I had to have it. The inside of this planner is very minimal, very basic, just super simple planning. See? Just daily, daily sheets. Um, the way I plan is not gonna change. That stays the same. That's been the same for a while now. It's been the same for a couple of years actually. It might evolve and change over time, but what I do is I have like a goal, a main goal, and I plan three things each week that I need to get done that's gonna help me reach that goal. And then each day I plan three things that helps me reach the weekly goals, which helps me reach the ultimate goal. I hope I explained that to where it makes sense. My planning style as far as how I actually plan is not going to change. I'm just not decorative planning anymore and I'm not decorative planning inside of a happy planner. I have a new planner and you know what? If this doesn't work and I have to go back to my good old Amazon basics notepad, so be it. Now, because I've come to this realization that I don't want to decorate my planner anymore and I don't want to do all of that, that, that kind of left me with, what do I do with this channel? I've built this channel on planning. You guys know that. That's what you're here for. I've battled with myself about this. I, I didn't know what to do. Maybe I should 
do more crafting style videos. And then I decided that I wanted to do crafting and scrapbooking and memory keeping because I absolutely love that. I love documenting things. Let me, let me get something, hold on a second. Yes, I have on leopard print PJs. Aren't they so stinking cute? And they're so soft. Gosh, they're so soft. Um, look, this is a book that I made, a scrapbooking book that I made from scratch that is loaded down with pictures and flips at, flip outs and journaling and tabs that pull out of places and flip around photos. And I mean, just so much goodness packed into this one little book. This right here is what I'm into, memory keeping and scrapbooking. So I created an, an entire separate channel for that. It's called Scrapbook with Ashley. If you guys wanna check it out, I'll have it linked down below. It's fairly new, so there's not a ton of videos on there, um, but things like this will be coming. So I, I separated that, so then I, I'm still left with what I do with this channel, my planning channel. And I have an idea, um, but I need your help. I need to know if this is something that you guys want to see, or if, if there's something else that you wanna see, I need you to let me know so I know where to kind of go with this channel and what kind of content cr to create. Here's my thought process. Used to when I post on Instagram, which I don't really do anymore, because again, I'm not in my planner and I felt like I had nothing to post and um, it all just become a little bit stressful and overwhelming. But when I posted on Instagram and I would post pictures of like my filming setup or um, my tripods and things, I would get tons of messages of like, what are you filming with? What kind of tripod do you have? How do you get lighting? What's your background look like? What's your backdrops and how do you edit? What do you use to edit your video? Like I would get tons of questions about that. So I was thinking, since a lot of people were wondering, maybe I should start showing you guys, showing my planner babes, my crafters, my scrapbookers, my memory keepers, my creative people, how to start a YouTube channel. I don't know if that's going to work. I don't know if that's something that you wanna see. If you're like, Ashley, I could give two craps less about that. Or if you're like, yes, please, because I've been wanting to start a YouTube channel for quite some time now and I don't even know where to begin. Because I know what it was like when I started this YouTube channel and I was so lost, I had no clue. So what I did is I actually mapped out um, six videos. Let me look, seven. I have seven videos mapped out so far. Everything from starting with planning the, the video, the kind of equipment you need, how to actually film, um, editing, creating thumbnails, like literally I have all of this planned out and I thought this would be kind of cool to be able to show you guys this entire process from start to finish and go on this little journey together. But I don't wanna do that if that's not what you wanna see. I want to be able to create content that serves you and that helps you. Now other options, if that's not the avenue that you know you guys want, to, want me to go down, I don't really know. I don't, I have not thought about it enough. I really, I'm genuinely not sure. So please, Please let me know if that's something that you wanna see. Let me know if you if you don't wanna see that and if, if there's something else that you wanna see because I will be more than happy to pivot and make changes as necessary and get this figured out so I can create content that is helpful for, for you guys. But that's my ultimate goal is just to serve you and help you in any way that I can. So that's it, that's a little life update. Also, I didn't mention this, but I dyed my hair this morning. So if my forehead looks dingy, I tried to get all the dye off of it, but um, you guys know how that goes, I'm pretty sure my neck probably still like has a ton of it on my neck. I don't know, probably just looks like I'm dirty. You guys are like, Ashley, you just don't shower. That's fine. But that's just a little life update, kind of what's going on, where I'm at mindset wise, what I'm changing, what I'm you know adding, what I'm getting rid of, and kind of my thought process about this channel. So thanks for watching. I can't wait to read your comments and see what it is that you're wanting to see from me. And until then, I hope you have a fabulous day, a fabulous week, and I will see you sometime soon in the future with some type of video. <laughs> Love you friends, bye.